Mm. We're gonna My whole life today. has been turned upside down. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Yeah. We're back in the kitchen and I'm joined again by Olivia and Alana. Olivia's on school holidays, aren't you, Olivia? Yes. And have you had a nice time so far? Yeah. And what are we making today, girls? Do you know? <laughs> Sweet potatoes. <laughs> Sweet potatoes. That's right, Alana. Sweet potato pie. Now, what do you think of that, Liz? Sounds nice. Okay, so we have got our sweet potatoes boiling. I think it's okay. She thinks it's nice too, does she? Yeah. We've got a sweet potatoes boiling here and I have got to make a pie crust. <laughs> I've made pie crust many a times now and I'm using the same crust recipe that I did for the apple pie. So if you want to go back and watch that video then click up here at the end of this video and you can watch that apple pie and watch us make that crust from scratch. So here is the pie crust. And now I am going to pre-bake this slightly and I'm not sure whether or not to do that but a lot of recipes say that you should depending on what kind of filling you're using but I checked out a recipe for sweet potato pie and it said to blind bake the pastry crust. Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon Liz? It looks like really good. It's all butter in there as well so it's going to be very buttery and creamy hopefully. Lovely. Lovely, yeah. So let's weigh that down. I haven't got any pastry weights but I'm going to pop some rice in because I read you can do that and I'm going to pop it in the oven. Yummy. <laughs> now, to be completely honest, I don't know how much rice you put in here to weigh it down. So, because I've no idea, do you want to just have a go, Liz? Pour some rice in. Oh, God. Just pour it in, because all that rice is going to do is stop that pastry puffing up and keep that pie bottom nice and flat, hopefully. Don't worry, <laughs> Alana will put it in, won't you? I reckon that should do it, don't you? Yeah. Right, let's pop it in the oven and part bake it. I must admit, I'm not looking forward to trying this sweet potato pie perhaps as much as I would other desserts. We did try pumpkin pie before and we didn't really like that. So if this is a similar dessert, then I'm not sure it's going to be for me. But we decided to do it because we are coming to North Carolina in May and being in the Carolinas, sweet potatoes seem to be the crop of choice. So we're going today with a sweet potato pie and then we'll try an authentic one while we're in North Carolina. <laughs> lift you up there we go okay so we need sweet potatoes for this pie don't we yeah. so over here i've got some mashed <laughs> sweet potatoes they are still a little bit warm but let's get them in so mummy's just going to do two cuts because this one's hot it does look like pumpkin it does doesn't it yeah but we like sweet potatoes don't we yeah so I did check, these sweet potatoes are actually from the USA. Wow. So we've got authentic American sweet potatoes going in to this dish. For today's recipe, we are following the recipe from the Blue Willow Inn Bible of Southern Cooking. Do you like the sweet potato there, Alana? Yeah. I thought you did. <laughs> we need some of this. What's this, Alana? Sugar. Sugar. So let's get Olivia to do us two of these. So it's one cup, but we're using the half cup measure. So you want to get it all to the top and all level, if you can. Do you want a smaller one? to top it up? Yes, please. Is that good? That's good, yeah. Pop that one in. And we need one more like that. We've got a quarter cup of melted butter. <gasps> Just pour that one in. And then Alana's going to have a go with the salt, because we know you like doing stuff like this, don't you? You're going to put these big spoons down? <laughs> Quarter teaspoon of salt, pop that one in. Whoa! Okay, we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We've got 14 ounces of condensed milk. Mm, that looks very creamy. <laughs> Not in there, people. <laughs> Look at that! So when I said sweet potato pie, Olivia, were you expecting a sweet thing or were you expecting a savoury? It's like savoury because we've got the potato in it. But no, this is a dessert. Potatoes for dessert. I know, that's what I'm not sure about either, but we're going to try it today. My whole life has been turned upside down. <laughs> I've never thought of having potato for dessert. We're going to try it today and we might still think we don't want potatoes for dessert, but let's have a go at it, shall we? Okay, next we need a teaspoon of cinnamon, nutmeg and ginger. So we've got half a teaspoon there, Olivia. Could you get two of those and pop that in? So that's the nutmeg. And we only need half a teaspoon of ginger, so can you do that one? Olivia, give it to you and you put it in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> or, or not. <laughs> <laughs> and a teaspoon of cinnamon, so two of those, Liz. 
It doesn't smell like dessert. What does it smell like? It smells very strong. Let me smell. It wouldn't smell like dessert. That oh. smells more like a meal. Something you would eat for your main meal, yeah, like yeah. a dinner. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to put this to the test. OK, going careful not to squirt lemon juice in anyone's eyes. We're going to have a teaspoon of lemon juice. Freshly squeeze lemon. Freshly squeeze lemon. Over to you, Liz. OK, last but not least, two lightly beaten eggs. Oh, she's obviously been watching. Okay. Oh, there you go. You helped, Mummy. Thank you. OK, let's give this a light little beat. In with the egg. OK, and now all that's left to do is to combine that. So give it a good old stir, I'd say. So, Olivia, when you think of American food, what comes to your mind, first of all? Burgers. Burgers. Wherever I go, I always have a burger. What's your favourite things on the top of a burger, then? Burger sauce. Oh, yeah? Cheese. Gherkin. Lettuce. Yeah. Sometimes tomato. So, I reckon we can get Olivia back to make burgers with us. We can even test them out on our new smoker. So, let us know in the comments down below if you want Olivia to come back and do burgers with us. OK, I think that's done. We need to pop it into the pie case. Then we're going to have to do a little edit, because earlier I said this is the best looking pie case I've ever made and um, I didn't allow for a bit of shrinkage so it doesn't look quite as good anymore but I'm sure it will still taste good. Now we've got to pop this in there. The sides have like shrunk. I know I reckon that was because there was the butter in it and I didn't allow for the fact that the butter was going to melt. I should have made it a bit bigger. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we can go a little bit more? Yeah. The oven has been preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're going to whack that in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're going to reduce the temperature and let it carry on cooking. The girls are upstairs playing and the timer has just gone off to say that that sweet potato pie should be ready. I've got no idea what to expect when this comes out of the oven and whether or not it should be jiggly, should be firm. I'm going to go in, but just before I do that, I did actually have a bit of leftovers. So I didn't want to waste it, so I poured them into little muffin dishes and I put like a biscuit crumb on the base because I didn't have any pastry left. So I might try these as well. It was just an idea to use up the rest of that sweet potato pie mix because I didn't want to just let it go to waste. But they look like they've oozed out a little bit, shall we say? But let's see if that sweet potato pie in the proper pastry casing has turned out any better. It's a little bit domed in the middle, which I'm guessing that's a little bit wet still. Maybe it needs a little bit longer in the oven. It has only been 30 minutes, not 35 to 40 like it said. I was just worried about the pie getting burnt, the crust. But I reckon, I reckon we could go in for a little bit longer. Let's give it another five minutes like the recipe suggests. So I'll pop that in, but there's a little sneak peek. I think there's some clumps of spices on this pie that there shouldn't be. But that's completely my fault. I didn't mix it enough. They say the first slice of pie always comes out wrong, so let's see. It smells nice. Not sure if that's what it's meant to look like. We are ready to do the taste test. We've got our slices of sweet potato pie. It smells better than pumpkin pie. You said it smells nice, didn't you? It smells more sweet. It does smell sweet. It smells a little bit caramelised on top, doesn't it? Like yeah. a like sugary caramel. But not sure what to make of it. I think we should just taste it. We've got our whipped cream, which we hand whipped, didn't we? Because Alana's sleeping. And it was hard work, wasn't it, whipped cream? Very. We'll go with a dollop on yours. And a dollop on mine. OK, Livs, you go first. What, just the cream? <laughs> I thought you were just having cream then. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> With the cream, it tastes like cake, but when the cream's gone, it's very flavoured. Very flavoured. It, it smells just like... Like it tastes? Yeah. Is it nice, though? I didn't think you liked it, then. OK, I'm going to try a bit. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's try a bit of cream then. It's quite strong. It is quite strong. It's the nutmeg, the ginger, and the cinnamon. Please let us know in the comments down below. Are nutmeg and ginger typically in a sweet potato pie, or is it just this recipe that we followed? I mean, I love cinnamon, so I'm happy with the cinnamon, but yeah, let's try again. Mm, you've got to have the whipped cream, haven't you? I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't think I was going to like this at all. Ratings? Hmm, I'd say eight and a half. Wow, that's a good one. Eight and a half. I was going to go with an eight out of ten. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do, and I'm quite happy to have this. And I guess because it has got sweet potatoes in, maybe it's one of our five a day as well. Taste test time. Sweet potato pie. We've got Mini H and Mr. H. High five, Clive. Oh, again. Yeah! Lan's very excited for cake. I'm gonna try this. Oh. Okay. What do you think, darling? A two. A two? <laughs> you little monkey. I think she's just teasing us now with the twos. Is it nice? Nice. Nice. I think she's only had the cream though so far. Can he break you off a little bit? A little bit of cake and a little bit of cream and choo choo. Mm. <laughs> <Is it> nice. <laughs> yeah? What scores that out of 10? 10. 10? Yeah! 10 out of 10! Yeah. 10. 10, right. That's actually all right. Genuinely, that's actually nice. Yeah, this is good. The reason I'm saying that, Mrs. H thought I might not like this. Oh. Alella, do you want more pie? Because you're just eating all the cream there. Mmm. Daddy, pick it up. Daddy, Oh, crikey. That's mm. a H bite. Go big or go home. I like that. Mm. I really like that. The spice is really good as well. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Wow. Seriously, yeah, seriously. Really nice. I was nice. not expecting that. A little bit more for Alana. So you do know that North Carolina, their crop of choice or their crop that they do in abundance is a sweet potato. So I is think it? sweet potato pie is very popular in North Carolina. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see us have sweet potato pie when we go to North Carolina. <laughs> Little bit more. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, let us know by subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell. Little bit. Little bit more to be notified every time we upload a new video because we've got some banging videos coming your way. You do not want to miss it. Overall, it's a good dessert from us. I think I'm going to enjoy going to North Carolina and trying this in the southern states. Do you want to come to North Carolina with us? Yep, okay, Olivia's there. And all that leaves us to say is take care, God bless, and see y'all in the next video.